Good morning, friends, greetings, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That's why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure because the human biological system, the human body, is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis, and while some folks may call that a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health and nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. If you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you. If you've got a loved one or family member or workmate who has a health challenge that you want help, uh, you want help dealing with or they want help dealing with, 844-236-6010 is our number today on the Bright Side, 844-236-6010 today and every day on the Bright Side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the program, please head over to my websites, brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com. You can order products right off the website. You can also sign up to join the Bright Side Ben team right off the website as well, or you can call the phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. Also want to remind you to take a look at brightsidehealth.com. We've got some really cool products up there. CBD, uh, uh, Pure Hemp Technology CBD product is up there. If you're dealing with anxiety issues or chronic pain issues, if you uh, have seizure disorders or you know somebody who has seizure disorders, CBD, cannabidiol, is the non-psychoactive component of the uh, hemp plant. CBD won't get you high, but it sure can do a uh, it sure can give you some benefits if you're dealing with chronic pain or seizure disorders, or uh, if you have anxiety issues or insomnia issues. Also, you can check it out at BrightSideHealth.com. BrightSideHealth.com. We also have bone broth protein up there. Bone broth protein for building connective tissue, which is what we have been talking about for the last month or so on the Bright Side, and we'll continue talking about connective tissue. Uh, yesterday, we left off talking about the idea of the connections in the body, how everything in the body is whole, everything in the body is connected. Etymologically speaking, health is about wholeness. Ha, health comes from the word hal or the prefix hal, H-A-L, which is where we get whole and holy and hail. All of it regards wholeness, integrity, coherence, unity, homogeneity. The body is a unit, it's a whole, it's a system, it's a field, and it needs to be addressed as such. Disease, dis-ease, is about fragmentation, it's about separation, and separation, as we said yesterday, activates the fear response. We only fear what we are separate from. We fear the unknown. If you uh, uh, go on Google and you look up all the different phobias, the different fears, you'll see fear of spiders and fear of death and fear of public speaking and fear of crowds and fear of closed in spaces, all these different fears and phobias, but they all have one thing in common. It, the, the, uh, the idea of the unknown, we don't know what's coming up. We don't know how people are gonna respond if we're doing public speaking. We don't know what, what the impact of closed in spaces or spiders will be. It's not the spiders that, we're fear, that we fear, it's the unknown that we fear. And separation is about the unknown. The unknown is about separation. This is where disease comes from. The body is a field, the body is a whole, the universe is a whole, and that includes us. The universe is a unified entity. Separation is an illusion as all of creation, all that is, is a whole 
unbroken and continuous. Even empty space is a solid substance. Is a, empty space is a thing. That's what uh, scientists are telling us today. S empty space itself is a unified whole, a unified thing. And uh, the dens uh, densifying and hardening of empty space is really trapped energy. In the body, this shows up as disease. This uh, shows up as discomfort. It shows up as fibrosis. And it's the result of long-term chronic attack and damage. This is disease in a nutshell. This is the aging process in a nutshell. And it's the result of long-term chronic attack and damage and nutritional deficiencies, which lead to weakened, uh, weakened tissue, weakened substances, and deficiencies in oxygen. And this is, the, this is really what all disease is about. It's about the body fragmenting into little compartments, little walls, if you will. And these walls are all built up of fibers, and this is where fibrosis comes in. So uh, the disease process, which is a result of separation, is in turn a result of long-term protection, if you will, fibrosis. You get damage, you get inflammation, and then you get protection, fibrosis, which is a way of walling off the environment, which has now become a threat. Damaged tissue is a threat. And it's okay if it happens once in a while, but it's the chronic nature. The chronic nature of this fibrotic response that really leads to the disease process. And this mechanism shows up particularly in what is called connective tissue diseases. According to uh, the Association of Physicians India, uh, the Association of Physicians of India medical textbook, connective tissue diseases, also known as autoimmune rheumatic diseases, are a group of disorders of unknown etiology. This is what doctors will tell you. We just don't know what causes these, uh, causes, uh, what is the cause of these diseases. We have no idea what causes these connective tissue diseases. We have no idea why the body goes into an autoimmune response. We have no idea. One of medicine's most commonly used terms is idiopathic, which means unknown. Idiopathic causes, that's what you'll hear them say. And this is what most chronic diseases are. They're idiopathic. And chronic disease, which most people, uh, uh, the majority of people are dealing with at least one type of chronic disease in this country. That's craziness when you think about it. As of uh, 2012, about half of all adults had one or more chronic health conditions. This is according to the CDC. 117 million people have one or more chronic health conditions. One or more. 25% have two or more chronic health conditions. What is going on? And we've got all of these doctors and devices and drugs and surgical procedures and the brilliant medical model has presided over this condition, over this situation. It's because we don't understand how the body breaks down. Nobody tells us how the body breaks down. If you've been listening to this program regularly, you know more than the medical the representatives of the medical model because it's not complicated. The body breaks down following, following attack, subsequent to attack. And the only way the, the, that attack can get into the body or attacking agents or offending agents can get into the body is through the blood. And the only way they can get through the blood, unless you're injecting them across, uh, across the skin, you know, and certainly we know IV drug users are, are, uh, are, are prone to these kinds of cha uh, health challenges. But if you're not injecting things through your skin, the only way, the predominant way, I should say, of things getting in through the blood is through food. And it's that simple. It's too simple. I know it's too simple. Because I'm just a pharmacist on the radio and your doctor's a genius. It sounds so simple. Well, I, I have to be wrong. Well, here's what you do. You stop eating for a while and see what happens. Do a fast. See what happens. For most people, you'll notice relief. It may take a while. You, know, you may have to fast for three or four days, depending on how toxic you are. Most chronic diseases are said to be unknown, if they're uh, or of unknown causes. If they're unknown causes, obviously we can't do anything about it except give you a drug, an anti-inflammatory drug, an, uh, an immune-suppressing drug. This is the brilliance of the medical model. We'll shut down the defense department. Oh yeah, you must. It's a defensive response. We know that because it's the immune system. So we'll give you a drug that'll kill your immune system or shut down your immune system. Oh my God. All right. I'm Pharmacist Ben. we got some solutions for you if you're dealing with these kinds of health challenges, and we'll talk about that when we come back from our break. 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this.
back on the bright side. Pharmacist Ben here. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on the archive pages of brightsideben.com. If you want to purchase any of our Truth Skin Health products, please go to truthtreatments.com. Make sure you take a look at our retinol 5% gel, Truth Balm, Truth Serum, and Truth Omega-6 healing cream, and now our Blemish Repair Complex. If you're dealing with acne or blemishes or uh, if you want to have good skin, if you don't even have, you don't even have to have acne or, or blemishes to benefit from my blemish repair complex because it's made with nutrients like N-acetylcysteine and vitamin E and vitamin A that are important for the building of all tissue and for detoxification. In fact, my blemish repair complex is a great liver detox. And you'll notice once you start using it, if you're drinking alcohol, that you don't get hung over as readily because the N-acetylcysteine and the vitamin E and the selenium and the chromium and the B-complex are all important for liver detox as well as for keeping your skin blemish free. You can find out all about, you can find out about all our True Skin Health products, connective tissue building products, by the way, at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number today. And we'll get your calls here in our next segment, as we always do. If you're dealing with a chronic illness, first of all, we talked about connective tissue diseases. You should know that even if your disease hasn't been classified as an official connective tissue disease like Sjogren's syndrome or scleroderma or uh, mixed connective tissue disease, there's all these different names, Ehlers-Danlos syndrome or a systemic lupus erythromatosis, SLE, uh, systemic sclerosis. There's hundreds of these things, literally hundreds of these things called connective tissue diseases. But even if you haven't been diagnosed as such, you can pretty much rest assured that if you've got a chronic illness that the connective tissue is involved because the connective tissue, in addition to connecting things, also feeds all the cells of the body. The connective tissue is what, uh, where the food, the nourishment, the nutrients that are going to sustain the cells are delivered, how they're delivered through the connective tissue. Once the connective tissue is clogged up, nutritional delivery is impaired. Oxygenation occurs through the connective tissue, so once the connective tissue is clogged up, oxygenation to cells is impaired. Likewise, with toxicity, as the, as the effects of toxicity accrue, and sugar counts as a toxin, and the connective tissue is a major site of damage for the, a major site of damage by sugar. Sugar and diabetes have a major connective tissue component, is what I'm saying here, a major connective tissue degradation component, so that the more sugar you're eating, the more likely your connective tissue is going to be to degrade. This is all the same stuff we talk about all the time. I'm just giving you the mechanism, but, but it's really just sugar and toxicity and lack of oxygen and lack of nutrition, and the toxicity is basically digestive toxicity. That's all you really need to know, and none of this involves a doctor. All illnesses have causes, and whether they say it's idiopathic, if they tell you it's idiopathic or they tell you it's unknown, that doesn't mean there's no cause. That just means they have no idea what the heck's going on. I'm telling you what's going on. Chronic disease is really the body's attempt to correct the damage, and the damage uh, is usually coming in, it usually comes in through the digestive system and also is associated with nutritional deficiencies and oxygen deficiencies, period. And there's nothing a doctor can do about it. There's nothing a doctor can do about it. And nothing says, I've drank the, drank, drank in, drunk, that's the word, the medical Kool-Aid more clearly than, oh, I'm sick, I'm going to go to the doctor. If you say, oh, I've got this health problem, I'm going to go to the doctor, you drank the Kool-Aid. Because there's nothing your doctor can do. Nothing for a chronic illness. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Except hide the symptoms with a drug, Take part of your body out or use radiation to, or electrical current to eliminate symptomology. But that doesn't matter because it's in the body's nature to repair. Even the fibrosis itself is part of the repair mechanism. It's not the fibrosis that's the problem, really. It's the chronic nature of the fibrosis. It's that it's occurring all the time. Fibrosis, when it occurs all the time and you got all these patches of fiber, all these little walled off areas, you get a disruption in the flow of energy, the disruption in the flow of electricity, a disruption in the flow of nutrition, a disruption in the flow of oxygen. And this is really where the disease process comes in. 
long-term fibrosis is like you can think of it like an airbag on the car uh, on your car yeah an airbags protective of course an airbag is protective but what if you were your airbag was chronically going off obviously you wouldn't be able to drive very far I've, had ne I've never had an airbag go off in my car, but I understand it can be pretty injurious. It can cause problems. It can, it can cause injuries itself. Yeah, it's protective, but the protective response itself can cause injury in your car or in your body. So this is a show about learning to take care of ourselves. It's not about blaming the doctor. It's not about blaming the mo medical model. I just talk about it because I want everybody to recognize that the medical model is useless, is a failure, is impotent, is an embarrassment when it comes to chronic long-term health issues. I'm just saying that. I'm not saying that to rip on anybody or insult anybody. I'm just saying it's because we've got to recognize what's going on here. But this is a show about learning to take care of ourselves, learning to take our power back from mediating forces, middlemen. Medicine is a middleman. It inserts itself in the middle of you and healing. In the middle, it says, oh, don't worry about it. We'll take care of you. Well, guess what? You don't need a doctor to take care of you. The body can take care of itself just fine if it has everything it needs, to do, everything it needs the raw materials it needs to do it, to do its work. The body is a miraculous healing system. Your doctor cannot touch the healing power of the body. Even though they'll tell you, oh, your body's just screwed up. Oh, it's just, a, it's just your genetics. Oh, it's, just, it's, in your, it's in your heredity. It's in your family. No. We believe that diseases are inevitable. We get entranced. We get suckered into this meme that says there's thousands of different diseases, and there's no way that we can go through our lives without getting at least one of them. We think we know everything. We think we know just how it is. Mark Twain said in the 19th century, it ain't what you don't know that gets you in trouble it's what you know for sure that ain't so. We know how it is, but we're wrong. We know how the body works, but we're wrong. Your doctor knows how it is, but we're wrong. He's wrong. That's the problem. Oh, it's just your genetics. Oh, it's a virus. Oh, it's Lyme disease. Oh, your, derma, your, your, your body's breaking down because you got bit by a tick. All right. I want to talk about coenzyme Q10 because I absolutely love this stuff. We left off a couple days ago talking about the relationship between cholesterol and CoQ10. If you're dealing with a connective tissue disorder of any kind, an autoimmune disorder of any kind, an immune disorder of any kind, CoQ10 can be incredibly valuable. If you're dealing with heart disease, and I'm, I'm not done talking about heart disease, the number one killer uh, in this country and around the world. If you're dealing with heart disease, which is itself uh, the result of inflammation and an immune response to damage and nutritional deficiency, yes, that's what causes the cholesterol plaques, not your body going haywire and just making too much cholesterol, not eating too much eggs. That's not the, that's not the problem. That's laughable, really, eating too much eggs. Oh, you better not eat those egg yolks. Even the government, you know. They couldn't keep the charade up because it's so silly, so dumb. If your doctor ever tells you that, it's just dumb. Cholesterol is, in the, is, lo, is, is deposited in the vascular system, in the cardiovascular system, the blood vessels of the heart, as a protective mechanism. If you're taking a statin drug, you're not only not going to, uh, you're not going to do anything to, pr uh, to eliminate the damage or reduce the damage to the vascular system, but you're going to be depriving yourself of vital nutrients, especially coenzyme Q10, which is an energizing nutrient. Very important for the liver, very important for the heart, and very important for the immune system. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010. Will is our number. We'll be back right after this. Okay, we are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben, and we do have lines open for you at 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. We'll get your calls here in just a moment. If you're on hold, hang on. We'll get to you here uh, in a minute or two. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to purchase any of my Truth Skin Health products, if you're dealing with acne blemishes or you don't want to deal with acne blemishes, if you uh, have aging skin, if you're starting to get those fine lines and wrinkles, or if you want to prevent fine lines and wrinkles from showing up, you want to use retinol, and you want to use enough of it. <clears throat> Not trace amounts of retinol like you'll find in 
in most products, half percent, point one percent. Most companies won't even tell you how much retinol they're using. And if they do, they're all proud of it because they got one percent or two percent. I put five percent because I ain't messing around when I'm formulating. I don't need to make a product that you can find somewhere else. If you could find a product somewhere else, I'm not going to make it because you don't need me. What you need me for is for super high concentrated products that don't have any baloney in them. No water, no oil, no wax, no silicon, no preservatives, no fragrances, no emulsifiers, no nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want. You shouldn't have to pay for ingredients that your skin doesn't need or doesn't want. And that's what 90 to 95% of most skincare products are. They're composed of stuff your skin has nothing, has no interest in. They're just there to pad out the product. That means if you, uh, if you buy a 30 gram product, 30 grams is an ounce, if you buy a 30 gram product, a one ounce product, 27 grams of it is baloney or more. <laughs> That's craziness. You can check out all my Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. All right, it's coenzyme Q10 for the heart. It's actually, it's important for way more than the, than the heart. Reading from the Journal of Pharmacy and Bioallied Sciences. July 2011, coenzyme Q10 can neutralize free radicals, may reduce or even help prevent some of the damage they cause. Coenzyme Q10 improves energy, augments the immune system, and acts as an antioxidant. The potential use of coenzyme Q10 supplements alone or in combination with, nutritional uh, with other drug therapies and nutritional supplements may help prevent or uh, treat some of the following conditions, cardiovascular disease, high blood pressure, cancer, periodontal disease, mitochondrial disorders. Mitochondria are the energy producing substances, uh, uh, substructures inside a cell. Radiation injury, obesity, diabetes, Parkinson's disease, AIDS, gastric ulcers, allergy, migraine headaches, kidney failure, muscular dystrophy, and aging. Coenzyme Q10 plays a significant role in boosting the immune system. It goes on. We're going to talk about CoQ10 tomorrow. It's very important for cardiovascular health, and it is uh, one of the biochemicals whose production is suppressed by statin drugs. That's a reason to not take statin drugs, in my opinion, and to take coenzyme Q10 instead. It's also a reason, if you are on a statin drug, to make sure you're using 50 milligrams a day of CoQ10 with your statin drug. Hopefully, your cardiologist or your doctor who put you on the statin drugs is telling you that. 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to let's go to Lynn in New Jersey. Good morning, Lynn. How you doing? Hi, Tom. Ben. Um, I'm doing okay. How are you? I'm good. Where in New Jersey are you? Where are you? Um, South Jersey. What what town? Like uh, Cherry Hill. Oh, okay. You know, I'm a New Jersey New Jersey guy. I don't know if you knew that or not. I, I oh, was no, raised. You? I was born in Flemington, New Jersey. Oh, okay. I've I've heard of Flemington, but um, yeah. not not too familiar with it. It's a it was a cute little town back in the day. Not so much anymore. It's still a nice town, but it was cute, really cute back <laughs> in the day, back oh, in the wow. '60s. Oh, okay. So what's going on this morning, Lynn? How can we help you? Oh, okay. Well, my situation's a little bit different, um, in the sense that um, I have a nonprofit animal rescue organization, oh, and nice. um. I always knew that there was another way um, for the last 11 years or so, just because of all the chronic illness with the cats um, that well, I was Tell me doing. about that. Cats cats are experiencing an epidemic of chronic disease like we are, like people are? Oh, my God. It's, it's, it's so bad. I like That's actually what led me to you and to longevity and whatnot, because I crashed myself. And I went to my family doctor and gave him all my symptoms, and he couldn't figure it out. He almost laughed at me. And I've been going to him since I was little. Well, um, give me some of the symptoms. Like, tell me some of the symptoms. For myself? Um, yeah. Uh, I know definitely chronic fatigue. Okay. Um, I brought up leaky gut syndrome to him, and he laughed. He's never he laughed at you before. when he said that? Oh, my yes, God. He Is he an he old did. guy or a young guy? No, he's older. He's older, and he semi recently had a gastric bypass too, which he had a gastric bypass laugh. himself. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, so gosh. yeah. Um, uh, no, is it just me, or is this crazy? Then, Are we in some kind of crazy alternate crazy. universe? Unbelievable. And then right. I hear you, and I absolutely love you. I just think <laughs> I think it makes sense, right? You honestly, you make sense, and. I, 
I need things in my life to make sense, and they just haven't, especially the last 10 years, especially doing the rescue. And no one gets it, and it's just beyond frustrating. Okay, so do you want so, help with you or your, your, your cats? How, I mean, I don't know a lot about cats, but I know about chronic disease. Well, I'm, as of right now, um, definitely, definitely the cat, just because um, he's in critical condition right now. Okay, oh my gosh. Um, Is it your so cat? I, he's one of my rescues. Um, I but see. I've had him for about four years, and I've been through a lot. And okay. um, he has, you know, been there for me, as silly as that might sound. How old is the cat? No, it doesn't sound silly he, at all. How, how old is the cat? He's 10. He's okay. 10. Okay. And he was diagnosed, cut me off. I don't know if you want me to tell you a little bit about it. Just, no, tell me sp- the, the final diagnosis first, and then I'll ask you questions. Okay. Um, uh, kidney failure. Okay. Um, is, he di- is he overweight? Was he diabetic or anything? No, no, and I've had him on longevity supplements for approximately the last, I'm going to say, eight, nine months. Okay. So his blood sugar, his blood sugar's fine. I had um, blood work done last week, actually. Um, now, I don't want to take up too much of your time. Well, here's the deal with, with cat. First of all, he's t- if he's 10 years old, he's already, you know, I don't know what that is in cat years, but that's old. Okay, that's, that's like well into middle age, almost elderly. I think cats live about 20 years if everything's good. So he's, he's, a, you know, he's not a young cat, put it that way. So that means, right. number one, that it's going to be harder for him to recover, but it's even more importantly, he's been tra- uh, his body's been trashed out for a long time. Follow me? Kidney disease right. means that the, the little blood vessels in the kidneys are damaged. The main way, they, they get damaged from a lot of reasons, but the main way is sugar. And sugar, remember, cats are meat eaters, right? They're not, they don't get sugar. Mm-hmm. They don't know what to do with sugar. Nobody really, you know, we need a little sugar as humans, but cats don't eat any sugar. They're carnivores. So what's, what was he eating? Not, just uh, not that it matters at this point, but just for, just for my own curiosity, what was he eating? Grain, uh, the kibbles uh, dry, kind of stuff? Dry kibble. Yeah. And of course, yeah. all the wrong things. All the wrong um, things. Yeah, high carbs, right, sugar, Get him meat. Uh, I hope he's eating meat right now, fish and meat and fat, like, a, like just fish, basically. That's what cats eat is fish, chicken, fish, well, that I've kind of thing. Well, I've been doing, yeah, well, well I've been doing organic um, chicken breast and then bone broth and then I put the supplements in and Does then he the, the he was he, he, he's stopping he's not eating as much no you know so he's severely anemic so oh. I wanted to get your opinion on... Um, All right. I'm going to finish up when we come back from our break. we got to take a commercial. I'm going to finish up when we come back. And then um, and hang on. If you're on hold, hang on. We'll get you to. I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. We will return right after this. All right. We're back on The Bright Side. Pharmacist Ben here. 844-236-6010 is our number. We're talking to Lynn in New Jersey. I'm going to go a little quickly here. Lynn, you there? Yeah, I'm here. All right. Has he been on probiotics yet? The, uh, uh, use kitty probiotics for the kitty or for the cat? Cat um, probiotics? Yeah, you know what? I, um, I, I did have him on some. I ran okay. out of um, the longevity um, formula. But anyways, it has um, malodextrin in it. Well, is, get him on a find a kitty probiotic. Maltodextrin isn't going to make too much of a difference at this point. Oh, for your that cat. won't hurt him. No, 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 not at this point. But but there's lots of uh, probiotics that are specific for cats. So okay. you want you just get him a, a cat probiotic and be generous with it. You know, 15 billion units kind of thing a day, that sort of stuff. There, there's a, there's a few different ones. I'm not even sure the brand names, but I know they make them, and that's important. Number one, okay. okay. Number two, I, I assume you're going to keep him off the kibble and just give him the uh, the meat. The uh, cats need an amino acid called taurine. T a u r i n e. Have you heard of that? Yeah, yeah. He's on the Arthrodex. Um, okay. Okay. Good. I, I put extra taurine. Okay. In there good. Too. So you know about that. Okay. Good. And then uh, you know. <laughs> That's pretty much all I could tell you. The biggest he, thing is um, th- th- um, they think he might have a kidney tumor. Um, uh, he has severe anemia and no muscle mass left. Well, they're and probably they giving want- him potassium. and They're probably giving him the electrolytes, right? Calcium, potassium, that sort of thing. Are they yeah, giving him electrolytes? Of course, yeah. Um, he's getting um, the minerals in the Arthrodex and then also the plant minerals, too. Have you noticed a difference from the supplements? We, yeah, so here's the thing. Um, he was doing extremely well in the supplements. He had access over the summer to um, sea salt water, and he always craved salt. 
How and interesting. that threw his balance off, and then he filled up with fluid. So the vet put him on Lasix. Oh, and, no. <laughs> yeah, ever since the Lasix. I mean, that saved him as far as dying on the spot. Yeah. But he no, it's going to, no, the Lasix is an awful, Lasix is an awful drug. Uh, you know, the fact that he was going for the sea salt says that he needed the minerals, that he was deficient in minerals. Of course, the kidney regulates mineral balance. So that makes sense. So you're doing everything right, but if the, he could be, so, with all due respect, Lynn, I, I, mean, I don't mean to be the bearer of bad news, but if he's got a kidney tumor and is, you know, <laughs> you might be at the end. I know. After you finding, know. you know, longevity and, and listening to you and whatnot, um, I'm my my view on life in general, of course, has changed a lot, and I'm extremely hopeful that uh, you know that that there's a chance. And again, I know to someone else, you know, it, it, it's a cat or whatnot, but these guys are my kids, and you know, I put I my heart and soul I um, into taking care of them and making yeah. them their potions, and so I don't want to I don't want them to suffer, of course. But at the that's the time, that's the thing. You maybe give up. You may be prolonging his life, but also prolonging his suffering as well is, what, is the thing. And you've got to be really conscious of that, you know, because cats are animals and they need to die like anything needs to die. So you don't want to keep him around for you is the problem. You know what I'm saying? No, no, I know. I just want to know for a fact that there's, I mean, you're my If he has a kidney coat. tumor, what, you can't put him on dialysis. You know, what are you going to do? If he has a kidney tumor, his kidneys are failing. He's a cat, and there's, not right. gonna, there's no kidney dialysis, and that's what they would do if he was a human. I would tell you to reverse everything, you know, the, the, change the way he eats, but you're already doing all that. You know, that's right, the thing. Right. Keep up, keep it up, and see what happens is the best I could tell you at this point. And then, you know, make sure, obviously, that he's not eating any of the crappy stuff. But he's a cat. You know, he, he knows what to do better than you do is really the thing and it's us mucking it up that, that caused the problem in the first place you know i mean right. kibble cats don't eat kibble I, I don't know if it was necessarily that but that sure didn't help anyway Lynn, I, I wish i had i wish i could tell you more but that's that's about all i got for you can i ask you one Go, more question yes okay a people um, question though you got a people um, question for, <laughs> a people question no <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. I, I wish I could help you. I don't know much about cats, and, and there's not much you could do about cats because, you know, a 10-year-old cat is, is well into the well into his life, and he's been damaging his body for that long. What were you going to ask me? Just see, maybe I can help you. <laughs> okay. They want to give him, start him on injections of um, epigen to get the red blood cells to, to start accumulating to uh, offset You know, anemia. sweetheart, Lynn, you're just trying to sustain this poor kitty's life. And, you know, epigen's not going to make a difference. It's not going to make a difference. No. And if he's, no, not if he's got kidney disease and he's got a tumor. You know, okay. I, I wish I had better news for, I, I mean, I don't want to be the bearer of news, but bearer of bad news, but really, you don't want to sustain this kitty's life, in my opinion. I mean, let, let let nature take its course here, uh, but keep doing what you're doing. Is he getting? If he's not, is he getting better? Is he feeling strong, looking stronger? Um, he has he has um, ups and down. He uh, he has ups and ups and down. So it's Love. been it's been really hard to distinguish, you know, what 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 he's doing well with and not. So. I, you know what, Lynn? I can't. It's a kitty. I can't really help you on this one. I'm sorry. Okay. No, 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 that's okay. God bless you. Good luck with everything. I know that's got to be hard. Okay. I know it's got to be hard. All right, take Thank care. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thanks for all but, you do. Thank you, Lynn. Bye-bye. Wish I had I wish I had some answers that on that one. I just don't. Uh, Matthew's been holding on for a long time. Good morning, Matthew. How you doing, buddy? Good. How are you, sir? I am good. What's going on? How can I help you? All right. Uh, my girlfriend, uh, she had had three years ago uh, uh, breast cancer. Okay. Uh, and it was, uh, uh, she actually fought it off, uh, with chemotherapy and, uh, it's come back, okay. uh, with a vengeance and, um, it has transferred into her spine and now into her brain. And, How old is she? Uh, uh, she's 26. She's 26? Oh my goodness. Yeah. Uh, so is, is she probably at stage three or four at this point, right? She's at stage four, yes. Yeah. Okay, so here's the deal. Your job and her job is to make the body stronger. Don't worry about the cancer for now, all right? It's spread. Right. Don't, don't even think about it. you got to get her strong. And there's lots of things you could do at this point. Uh, number one, you got to move her body. She's got to move her body. The lymph is extremely important. She's got to be, she, she's got to be detox, um, circulating the lymph. That's going to be a little tricky because the cancer might be in the circulation at this point. But nonetheless, oxygenation through movement is extremely important. 
All right. She should be doing if she's not already. Is she on chemo back on chemo? Uh, yes, she is. And actually, uh, uh, they're in the beginning processes of starting the cyber knife process uh, uh, of uh, yeah. radiation. And, so what are they going to uh, cyber knife all the tumors? Yes, she's got 12 tumors uh, up and down her spine and into her brain. Make absolutely sure she's on a good nutritional supplement program. Personally, if it was me, I'd be doing IV nutrition, intravenous nutrition, particularly intravenous glutathione. Now, she may not have the resources to do it or the wherewithal to do it or even want to do it, but that is, at this point, that's what you need to be doing is putting it right in the blood. All right, glutathione, selenium, magnesium, and vitamin C particularly, especially vitamin C, vitamin E. These are all very important for helping the body fight cancer. Coenzyme Q10. If you don't do it intravenous, at least orally then. Okay? Okay. She, sugar is absolutely zero tolerance. Zero. None. Zippo. Not, not no a sugar. drop of it. Yeah. Get her sugar. Right. She needs a little bit, but from veggies. All right? Veggie juices and uh, chick. She probably doesn't feel like eating, right? Uh, it comes and goes. She's got a really strong appetite for sugar, oddly enough. It, uh, right, because cancer loves sugar. <laughs> the cancer's telling her what to do. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, yes, okay. of course she's going to have an appetite for sugar. The cancer's eating all her sugar. So uh, make sure she's doing more protein, bone broth protein especially, or a, a chicken a bone broth and bone broth protein. You could use that too. You get that off brightsidehealth.com. But... Uh, uh, bone broth itself, chicken broth, with your homemade chicken, uh, homemade chicken broth with veggies in it. Also veggie juices. Calories are not her friend, but nutrition is. You get the distinction right. here? Calories, uh, as, just what she needs for calories, but nutrition she needs. Lots of it. Generous amounts. Get her on the Healthy Start Pack, the Ultimate EFAs. I'd be using Beta Glucan, the uh, Restart Your Life products from Longevity. Aloe Vera, Noni, Hyaluronic acid, any kind of uh, 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 algaes, anything that has these complex polysaccharides and kind of gummy substances will help stimulate the immune system. Um, okay. There's a lot. The, there's lots of anti-cancer supplements, but she's so far. She's so far into it. So it's she has to go get going right away on all of these things. Right. Okay. Okay. Um, how would uh, uh, how would I uh, go about uh, getting her uh, intravenous? Uh, I, where do you live? Austin, Texas. Oh, you, there's plenty of places. I'm sure there's plenty of places. Just look up intravenous nutrition. All right. Okay. Hey, why don't you call uh, Matthew? Send me an email, will you? Uh, ben at sure. ksco.com and put your phone number in there. And give me a day or two, and I'll get back to you, and we'll, I'll work with you. Okay. Okay. That was Ben at what? Ben at ksco.com. Ks is in Steve. Co dot com. Correct. All right, I got it. Sir Ben, I really appreciate it, sir. God bless you, my friend. Good luck with everything. All right, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you for listening to The Bright Side. We'll continue talking about CoQ10 and cholesterol and heart disease tomorrow. Uh, check out my skin health products at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. And you can also check out uh, all the longevity products at criticalhealthnews.com, pharmacistben.com, or brightsideben.com. Have a wonderful, beautiful, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now. 